Hey everybody, Fishman here. Welcome to another video. A Sunday video. It's going to be a short one though. I wanted to introduce this new topic as quickly as possible because, well, first off, there's a lot of interest in the last uh, viewer input build and I want to uh, do another one. And this one's going to have a lot more choices. So it's going to be a while before we get to any kind of a product uh, that's going to you know, resemble something like a filter or whatever. So this build is going to be a... Oh, there's so many names for this thing. Uh, rolling drum filter, uh, biomass drum filter, uh, wet dry drum filter, roll, uh, I think every rolling paper filter. Uh, pretty much what the concept is, we saw that piece of Delrin there and a piece of acrylic tubing. There's going to be a, a, a central axle and then there's going to be a drum around that. And the drum is going to get wet at one point, and then it's going to be exposed to the air. It's not going to dry out or anything, but while it's exposed to the air, the bacteria that's going to be on it is going to have a lot more oxygen. So it is going to be able to metabolize uh, whatever materials were in uh, the water to begin with, and it's just a fast and hopefully more efficient way of filtration. Now, the ones I've seen commercially uh, years ago, I have run across a few of my maintenance days uh, while well, I was like maintaining, maintaining other people's aquariums and I've seen them and they all have the same kind of issue. Uh, first off, they're made out of cheap plastic and they tend to seize up and it's very difficult to keep them going. I think I can engineer around that problem. Uh, so that is going to be part of this. But for you guys, uh, the decision you're going to need to make is, uh, at least this first decision, I should say, uh, these two pieces of acrylic here. These are just, uh, like I said, what's left of some offcuts. This is the larger one and, of course, the smaller one. They're both going to sit on that central tube you see there, and uh, they're going to rotate. There's either going to be a spray bar in this sort of angle or a jet of water from this sort of angle, and it is going to rotate this way. Or I can obviously put this into like a hob kind of thing where water flows out of it. Uh, and that's what the uh, commercial ones I saw used to be like. And the water will go along the bottom. And that, of course, would end up uh, turning it as well. So you'd end up getting it turning in the opposite direction. That really doesn't matter. It's just a matter of deciding, you know, uh, which way you want it to flow. That decision will be later. <clears throat> the decision for today is whether or not to make this out of the thinner uh, diameter, the narrower diameter, which is this one here, or the larger one, which is the big one. I mean, so that's your choice, big or small for the drum. And then that'll be today's choice. And then we'll get on to some of the other choices, like which way you want the water to flow, or they want this to be hot, all those sorts of things. There's a lot of choices to make in this. Uh, right down to what kind of material uh, do you want this coated in? It could be coated in, uh, the ones I saw commercially were kind of like a fibrous paper and they were fine. I can do this in sponge. Uh, this, this could be brackets to hold this on, of course, and all kinds of stuff. There are a great many choices, but that is all for a later video. So imagine this with a that central piece, that off to the right, uh, left, sorry, you'll see that piece of acrylic tubing there. That tubing is going to go down the center one of one of these, and then obviously there's going to be a bracket of some kind to hold it in the middle, uh, so it rotates smoothly. And then uh, there's going to be water, uh, there's going to be an axle, that piece of black delrin, or I might use the white one and machine it so it fits more snugly. Uh, as long as it flows, uh, it rolls smoothly, that's the only thing I really care about. And of course, freely. I don't want this to have the issues that the commercial ones I saw have. So <clears throat> the it's going to sit in the middle, the water is going to flow around it, and it's going to rotate. The question for you today is, uh, do you want that to be uh, a smaller diameter, which means uh, it'll dip in the water more often, and it'll be in the air less often, which means... Uh, It'll still have a lot of oxygen, um, but because it's in the water more frequently, uh, it'll affect the filtration a little bit. And we'll get to that at uh, a later point in this. Um, and then, of course, the larger one, uh, it'll rotate a little bit more slowly, and it'll be out of the water uh, more often than it's in, and it'll have more ox access to the oxygen. But there's also a risk in that case of it drying out a little bit. There are pros and cons to both. Uh, you guys are going to choose, or I'm going to build it, 
and we're going to see how this goes. And I'm going to try and keep these uh, initial videos uh, quite short. Uh, so get your uh, your comments in quickly. Uh, you can also comment on other stuff you want as well on this particular style of build, uh, how the access is going to go. I mean, any, any of you who have any kind of machining experience or uh, DIY experience, definitely put in your comments and uh, your opinions, and that could also change how this is going to go. So lots and lots about this. Uh, let's keep this one short and simple. Uh, large diameter, small diameter. Let me know below. Lots of comments, please. Lots of input. That's uh, what this is all about. So if you like this style of video, please like and or subscribe. Uh, we greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you actually fairly soon. A couple days, maybe Wednesday. It's hard to say how it goes. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. And bye for now.